we pray together the Memorare to St. Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, my spiritual father, and beg your protection. O foster father of the Redeemer, despise not my petitions, but in your goodness hear and answer me. Amen. When a person has faith, they are in possession of something invaluable, something that acts as an impenetrable bulwark against life's suffering and trials. Think of a person who you have encountered in your own life, a person of true faith. People like this are constructed from something otherworldly, almost as if they don't live by the same norms, maxims, or, or values that are most commonly found among humanity. They have a certain resolve that defies what most consider to be reasonable. No matter the era or the circumstance, a person of true faith lives with their compass directed towards God, overcoming any and all obstacles. St. Joseph is the model of this kind of faith. Joseph knew with a certainty beyond human reason that the voice of God had spoken to him to take Mary as his wife, and he responded with generous faith. His faith never wavered through all the uncertainty, all the trials of the life of the Holy Family. He never doubted the divinity of Jesus or his power to conquer evil. To the world, Jesus looked like any ordinary child, but in his heart, St. Joseph knew that he was God. The greatest fear of any parent is failing to protect and provide for their families. Mothers and fathers have to contend with innumerable threats that lie in wait for their children in the spiritual and moral sphere. What will be on TV when they go to their friend's house? Will someone show something inappropriate on their smartphone? What leering looks or vulgar comments might their children face? What bullying or peer pressure towards evil will they be subjected to? In many such situations, parents will not be able to be present to protect their families. Therefore, we must all rely on the spiritual tools available to us as powerful defenses. The intercession of our spiritual father, St. Joseph, as well as our own guardian angels, and those angels assigned by God to watch over the members of our families. To raise a child today as a faithful Catholic takes a commensurate level of faith. The more severe the danger, the greater the faith that is required. The Litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble Son of the House of David, pray for us. Light of the Patriarchs, pray for us. Husband of the Mother of God, pray for us. Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Faithful Guardian of Christ, 
pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Chaste and Just, pray for us. Joseph Prudent and Brave, pray for us. Joseph Obedient and Loyal, pray for us. Pattern of Patience, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model of Workers, pray for us. Example to Parents, pray for us. Guardian of Virgins, pray for us. Pillar of Family Life, pray for us. Comfort of the Troubled, pray for us. Hope of the Sick, pray for us. Patron of the Dying, pray for us. Terror of evil spirits, pray for us. Protector of the church, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. God made him master of his household and put him in charge of all that he owned. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose St. Joseph as spouse of the most holy mother of your son, grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 